You're five and a half. Today's your birthday. Good morning. It's Monday morning. Another day at work. Another day at school. Yeah. Are we and, over? Yeah. And now I'm going to be driving the girls to school this morning because it is pouring out. Pouring rain. Pouring rain, right? So, Sophia's up there. She hasn't even seen yet. She hasn't seen outside. It's pouring out. Sophie's up with Dad this morning. How come? Because it's time to get up. It's 6.30. I had to go to the bathroom. Oh, that's why you're up? My bed's super clean. Is it? Here's your medicine. Drink it up. Good morning, guys. It is Monday, and it is a lucky day for me because I do not have to take the girls to the bus stop. It's still freezing in the mornings. Um, Gabby and so or Sam is going to take them because it's pouring rain. And by pouring rain, I mean pouring rain. Let's see if I can show you. It is going sideways. I mean, it is wet. Look at the flood over there in the yard. I can feel it, but I just can I woke up in the middle of the night when it started. It must have just started because I could hear it. And I was thinking, what is that water coming from? I remembered that Gabby left her spring coat outside yesterday and then I was so stressed out thinking, oh my gosh, her coat is outside. What is she gonna wear today? And then I woke up Sam and said, Sam, is Gabby's coat outside? I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe he was gonna run out and save it, I don't know. But anyway, he said, no, it's inside. So lucky for us, it was inside. So that all worked out. Taking to school today. Mom's rosary. Rosary? In the book we bought at the store. Uh -huh. She's going to take it to school and talk about it with her class. And the book. Awesome. Guys, look at the beautiful blessings. I wonder if they ever have a book like that. Anybody has a book like that at school? The horses. No. This book looks familiar. No. Uh oh. <laughs> Like mom, I think yeah. this book. Okay, go. Like mom, this part. Do you guys do this to your kids' hair? Um, a couple times a week, I straighten their hair so that um, they don't get any lice from school. Because sometimes when they go to school, some of their classmates um, have bugs in their hair, and apparently <coughs> this is like a sure um, fix. And we've never had lice before, so. Um, we just keep doing it. But anyway, it's supposed to, if any bugs get on your hair and lay eggs, it's supposed to pop open the eggs so nothing can happen. And I do it after their bath. So every few days after their bath, I straighten their hair so that um, nothing nothing can grow in there. Um, last night we had a bath. So every bath night, um, well, mom straightens our hair. This is our bug prevention routine, regime. I straighten their hair just to make sure that if they come into contact at school with anything that we don't want to have at home, um, this will get rid of it. It will kill anything that even gets close to their hair or prevent any eggs from hatching. So this is what we do a couple times a week, just as a preventative. Usually in the spring um, time when it seems to be like the, the biggest problem. I don't know if you guys know, but school-age kids can get bugs, and they say girls are more prone to it than boys. And we've never had it, so it seems to be working. I forgot the vlog yesterday that we put the bird feeder up. We brought I brought the big ladder out, and, and Gabby, Gabby stepped up, climbed up the ladder, and put it on the uh, tree. Right on the hook that's all the way up in the tree. And then we took down another bird feeder. Yeah, then we took down a different bird feeder, and we still have to fill that up and put it back up. A little house. Show them. Now, Gabby's getting her hair steam cleaned. <laughs> steam cleaned? Dry cleaned? Eat, Missy. Eat up. Oh, it smells eat, like up. Soap. eat up. Eat up for school. Oh, Gabby's hair smells so good. It smells just like pure shampoo. <laughs> 
Mom tells me to use a lot of conditioner. I do tell her to use a lot of conditioner. That's that why I have to buy it every couple days? Hair. What? Yeah. That why I have to buy it every couple of days? Yeah. Because I use it all. <laughs> it's your birthday week. Gabby, are you excited? It's your birthday week. You know what that means? You get special treats all week. Did you know that? That we celebrate all week? Ignoring me. Okay, I guess no birthday treats for you. Hey. You want birthday treats this week? Yeah. Sam, quick, go get her some birthday treats. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the store and get her a present. Stop. Why do people do that? Why do people do that? Try and make kids upset and worried and stressed that we didn't well, get we her got, a present. We got five days to do that. Oh. Anyways, it's your birthday week. It's so exciting. Oh. We're gonna have an eight-year-old. Yep, you're going to be a six-year-old, but not for a Ooh. long time yet. Hey, you're five and a half. Today's your birthday. That's not. Yes, you're five and a half exactly today. In six more months from today, it's going to be your birthday. Exactly. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's, birthday. it's your half birthday. It's my birthday, too. No. no. Mason was before you. Your birthday was, your half birthday was last month. You're 44 and a half. Every day is my birthday. Yeah, yeah. every day is my birthday too. But yeah. That's not how it looks. Well, it is. It, you, are four, you are five and a half now. You only get presents once a year. You only get presents on your real birthday, but you are five and a half today. Exactly. And. Um, oh, so that means she gets cake. Look, quick. Blow out the candles. Five and a half. Yeah, we need cake. We need lots of cake this week. This is going to be my favorite week. No, half a five is two and a half. <laughs> Anyways, um, is this going to be a good week? Because on Saturday, we're going to have a cake to celebrate Gabby's birthday, even though she's not having her party yet. And on Sunday, we're going to have another cake, even a better cake um, for her first communion. Two cakes this, this week. I know. All for you. Mom's going to make a cake. Sam and I are still debating her birthday party because she wants to go to the salon and have many petties with her friends. And I was thinking that um, there's a place in town where we can do that. But I was thinking that it's so much cooler if we could go to the mall. There's like a salon that we went to for our mani for our manicures at the mall. If we went to the mall, then um, we could actually like make it a mall birthday. We could have her cake there. We could eat there. It'd be just so much easier. But um, I think we could just ask people to drop their kids off at the mall and pick their kids up at the mall, right? No. no. Because Sam's worried about how we're going to get everybody there. We only can carry eight people in our car. And um, she only wants a small party, though, right? Six kids. <coughs> Including you and Sophie. So you only want to invite four girls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is Hannah. Allison, Brianna, um, what was the other one? Emma. And Emma. Yeah. I'm not good at sticking up fingers. <laughs> well, that's a good like thing. This, like you remember this. that. You remember that you're not good at sticking up fingers. Especially when you're a teenager. Like that. Okay. All right, you guys. We are getting our <laughs> breakfast on and getting ready to go to school. Okay, you guys, can you tell that the, my girls are sisters? Look, that's the only thing I hate about spring. They wear spring-colored clothes, and then they eat breakfast. Let me see you. Let's just see if you got any spots on you. Yeah. See? Same spot. Light-colored clothes. Greens and pinks and blues and whites. That's the only bad thing about spring for me in summer is that it gets dirtier and messier out, and the girls wear lighter colors. Pouring. Yeah, it is pouring. Gabby, do you think you're going to be warm enough in that? Did you bring your hoodie? Take your hoodie with you? To my bag. Is it your friend? All right, because I, I think you're... Myself. Yeah, an umbrella for sure. It's I... Yeah, let's now. do up your coat. Yeah. Um, yeah. Carry the rosary in the book. You should have that in your backpack, lovey, so you don't lose it. But yeah, have a good day. I love you. The backpack is not yeah. water. Yeah. yeah.
All right, be warm. Have a good day, Sam. Thanks for taking the girls. Thanks for saving here. I'll get the door. Thanks for saving me from getting wet. Run! Did you see what I made for you today? Yes. Do you know how to play it? Uh-uh. It's rain because it's a rainy day. Look, let's pick a number. What number is this? Four. Right, so then it's a cloud and you get four you count out four raindrops. Oh, mommy. Oh, I still wanna play that game. You wanna play it too? I made it today. Okay, let's play it. This morning when I was telling you guys about our lice prevention regime. Well look what I got in Sophie's mailbox today. No, I have one. Dear parents and guardians, there is lice in our classroom classroom. We're sorry and no, I think I got did you get your head checked? Me too. And they said, Gabby, you're good. Um, and they said, Sophie, you're good too? Bye. I feel like this is the fourth um, note that we have had in the, in the last month. In the last month, I swear it's the fourth note. This school, I mean, we've had, the kids have gone to other schools and the boys have gone to school and I swear we have never seen this many lice notices before. Like, what the heck? It's bothered me. It bothers me to s that they can't keep the lice out of the classroom. Like, okay, so you notice that people, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just don't understand how um, they keep getting it. It's just been non-stop since February. It's like, it's almost May and it's been non-stop since February. It's so frustrating. It makes me want to take my kids out of school and homeschool them. And even though I straighten their hair every couple of days so that it, there, nothing can grow in their hair, everything is burnt off, uh, it bothers me that I have to do that. Right? Do you guys get bothered by the fact that there's lice always in your classroom? Do you? Does it bother you? It actually feels good to my head when I get it checked. When you get it checked? Like, there's these little sticks, they go like that. Guys, I have to check them at a time. They do that? And you like it? You just sit there, lay back, and relax? Oh, yeah, I love it. Me too. Mom, do you know where my Easter candy is? No, I have no idea. Did you check under your bed? Well, maybe under your bed. It's supposed to be in my drawer. Oh, yeah, it was in your drawer. And then you took it and left it somewhere. On the kitchen table. I think there's only a little bit of candy left in and I filled it up with one of those little tubes or something. What the, one of those little, I don't know. I'm good at this game. Do you like, aren't you glad I made it for you? Uh-huh. And so you like getting your hair checked, Soph? I'm going to pour the wind drop this way. So I'll be that Why do you like getting your hair checked? Um, because it feels so good. It feels so good? How long does it last? Uh. Not even anything. Just like they did this to mine. Done. You're good. <laughs> Done. You're good. Well, the only thing I like about you getting your hair checked is that part where they say you're good. They actually say you're good. Did, oh. they, did they say that to you too, Sophie? You're good. Ah. Well, somebody in Sophie's class was not good because we got another notice that there's lice in their class. So it just says to keep checking your kid's head for the next two weeks because who knows what could happen. It's just driving me crazy. Is it driving you crazy, Sam? Yeah, driving me crazy. I can't stand that. I can't stand that there's bugs in our kid's classroom. That's what it boils down to. There are bugs in our kid's classroom. There are bugs in our kid's classroom. I don't know. That just, it bothers me. It just, Maybe it shouldn't bother me. It just does bother me. Does it, should it bother me? I, it doesn't bother me that they get a notice saying, oh dear, something's happened. We have lice in our classroom. It bothers me that every week we get a notice from one or the other saying, hey, guess what? There's a new infestation of lice in our classroom. So I made this game for Sophie mostly when I was at, when she's at school today. I did it at lunchtime. Um, I made some rain clouds. Mom. and some raindrops and they have numbers on them and you have to put all the number um, of raindrops underneath the yeah, cloud. Yeah, it's not a fun game. No, you guys it's are past fun. it. You guys are past fun. it. Yeah. yeah, they're past it. I have to find another, maybe some it's words. That game is for babies. Yeah, for babies. Mm -hmm. Definitely for babies. Mm -hmm.
Hey, what are you making for supper? Food. I tell the kids, food. What We're do you making mean? Food for supper. Food. Kind of about supper. Mmm, this looks super yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Are you putting some garlic Ew. plus in it? No, nope. I hate oh, everything in it, Mom. I like garlic in it. What? Yum. Is that pork? Unfortunately it is. Why? You don't like pork chops? No, I don't mind it. You guys don't like it. Mm, I love pork chops. Probably shouldn't love pork chops, but I do love pork chops. But anyways, tomorrow is Tuesday and it is the day that we are stealing. Tomorrow we are stealing the day. We are stealing a day off of work, off of school. We're going to get hop hop. Gabby is dying to get a bunny, but we don't have a cage, Gabby. Anyway, we are stealing the day. We are going to Horde Station. It's like it's a sales barn where you would take, if you were a farmer, you would take your livestock and um, sell it. So it, it's going to be awesome. You've got to watch tomorrow's vlog. It will be really I fun. I really wanted cheap, cheap. A baby chick? But cheap. Yeah. yeah, right in the middle of the town. What would we do with a baby chick? Half or so, it's been maybe two weeks, it's been like summer. It's been like a really warm spring. Getting up as high as like 18, even 20. And that never, I feel like that never happens. Last year, at this time, at the end of May, it was icy out. Oh, look at the wind. Last year in May, we still couldn't even wear shorts. We've already been wearing shorts this year. And I keep thinking, waiting for the ball to drop. But I don't know, because today is all rainy and cold and it's still nice out. Plus, um, Tonight is supposed to be a thunderstorm. Is it? Oh, it better not rain tomorrow. That would be awful. How do you know it's supposed to be a thunderstorm? Dad, he's mad! <laughs> your dad and the weather. I gotta tell you something about your dad and the weather. What? He is not always right. Guys, this is mine. What? Carrots. Me, Chris? Yeah. But wait, no, corn, corn. I just like corn. Ugh. Okay, guys. Okay. Let's find my wait. Told. wait, 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 wait. So, what you're saying is that dad is going to go through all those vegetables and pick out the ones that you like the best. Is that what you're saying? Is that what he just came in and said? Wow, that's dedication. Because if I was giving you supper, what would I have said? Here's uh, some vegetables, eat them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Guys. Um, this is mine. I got it from Aunt Dawn. And, like, I said, Mom, okay, you can hang it up out here. It says, a hug is a great gift. One size fits all. Yeah. See, Sylvia and I are having a hug right now. <laughs> are you excited about tomorrow, Soph? I came over here. No. Unfortunately, after we go to Horde Station and get to see all those animals is when we have to go do your... Yeah. Hey. But she's been taking her medicine and her rash is almost gone. Woke. Your rash is almost gone, huh? Do you feel better? Do you feel better? Yeah. Have I mentioned lately that I am so psyched for summer, summer vacation? I just want to be home. It is Monday night. It's dark outside. Okay, it's not completely dark outside, but it's getting dark outside. It's getting dark outside and we've done nothing tonight. We've just been relaxing. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Even the dogs have been relaxing. I'm about to sneeze. Sam's relaxing. Girls are relaxing. You don't even have your pajamas on yet. And it's 20 minutes to bedtime. What are you reading? Diabetics for dummies. Diabetes for dummies. Dog training. Books. That does not say dog training. It dog says, training. no. It says diabetes. I don't know, but that's not it. Let's wait, Mama will go find it for you. This is the do this is the book you were looking for. This is it. That's dog breeding for this is dog breeding for dummies. Breeding dogs for dummies. You want to breed dogs? No, twin dogs. Yeah, that's actually a training book. How come you're not in bed? No, there's a third one and it has a picture of Lassie up. Playing with something, so that's the We're home tonight, so the kids want to stay up late. You guys want to stay up late? Mom said, I can't sleep tonight. You can stay up late because no way. tomorrow we get the day off. No way. Yes, we get the day off. 
Regular bedtime. No. No. Regular homework. bedtime. No homework. Because we're not going to school tomorrow. So yeah. No homework tonight and no homework. Yeah, no homework tomorrow. <laughs> no homework for 10 hours. No homework for 10 more days. You'll have to do tonight's homework tomorrow, though. How come uh, you have your dog and where's Macy? I don't know, she ran off. Why is Macy missing? Why is Macy missing? She's a scavenger. She's gone around looking Macy, for come. garbage. Come on. I got food. I almost dropped the lens cap in the toilet. And then I would call you, Sam, come and get it. Yeah. No, I have to stick my hand in there. You would stick your hand in the toilet? Come on, Macy, come on. You can do it. What are you going to do for your hair for your first communion? I already have it. Dad she wants you to do her it. hair for her first kid. Like, so you take that part and take that part, and then you braid it, and then you put it like that, and then put a clear elastic on it, and then you stuck some flowers on it. Do you remember when you did that? No, he doesn't remember. We saw it on a picture. Come on, uh, Dad. Well, yeah, she wants you to do her hair for first communion. Okay. I must be a master at hair design or something, but I don't remember what she's talking about. Alright, I'm going to go see what she's talking about. Okay, so this is what Gabby was talking about. Doing this kind of hair braid on her head. It's, I think it's called a French hair braid design. No, French hair. French Braid. French crown braid or something, anyways. French crown. It's like this and it leaves the back all long. It's like putting a crown in her head. Yeah, and then I want some it. flowers on it. But I just don't know if that's going to work okay. because big you're wearing a tiara. Uh huh, but it would keep French my tiara crown. on. This is what Gabby wants Dad to do, is to try and do her hair like that, and it's going to take me hours and hours and hours and hours to figure that out. Because remember, it on YouTube. your hair has got to be wet when I do it, and I need a comb, and I need, oh, I need a lot of work. He runs better braider than Dad is. No, uh, I can braid. It's hard to braid by yourself because you need to make it neat. Anyways. So, I'm going to try that, I guess, and uh, maybe I'll have to practice on Saturday. Will I practice on Saturday? That's when we we'll get, that's when the communion is. Wait, on. this Saturday? Oh, Saturday is her birthday, Sunday is communion. Stop. <coughs> oh, yeah. Stop acting like a baby. So, I guess I'll be trying that. Maybe a uh, test try on Saturday. Oh, I keep on getting it too loud. Yes, let that do it on Saturday. No, Dad, I actually... Dad. I can do it. I go like this. If my hair was neater... Then... Yeah, you're just making a big mess of your hair. <laughs> looks like a knot. <laughs> yeah. Making a knot in your hair? It's hard to do it by yourself. It yeah, once I practice. have a bath, I'll get out and get dressed. It takes a lot of practice. You can do my hair. It's a lot of practice. All right, so now, now I have a goal to learn how to do that, and I can't remember where I found it. I think Dad, I can you do that? found a picture somewhere online three years ago, four years ago. When did I do that one? Dad? I was at a birthday party. You had to look like a princess, Dad? right? But anyways. Dad? So we're going to try that this weekend and uh, it's getting late now so we're just going to say goodnight. Goodnight and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.